Attorney General Anand Ram Logan is calling on former Minister Kennedy Swart Singh to tell the public his role in brokering the now controversial Broadgate project prior to the general election. Speaking at a press conference at his office on Tuesday, the AG said this transaction is questionable at best. The transaction with Broadgate is one that is, of course, for national concern. I am calling upon Minister Kennedy Swart Singh, former Minister Kennedy Swart Singh, to explain his role and involvement in that matter. The matter surrounds the transaction in which the former PNM administration signed a deal with a newly formed company, Broadgate, to guarantee a loan for 20 million US dollars to pay off a mortgage formerly held by the UTC under Transcorp. Subsequent to this deal, the former PNM administration also promised to fund the construction of a building with a clause to rent the property after construction. The AG says this raises several questions. In effect, we were guaranteeing a loan for a private developer. All he had was the land. The land was financially burdened. And here it is, you have a piece of land. The state has agreed to finance the construction of the building. The state has agreed to rent it. The state has agreed through the rent to pay back for the loan. And at the end of the day, it still belongs to Broadgate. If that is not a scandal, then I don't know what is, quite frankly. The AG says the final cost of the project is unclear and is already estimated to cross $1 billion. The Queen's Council has been engaged to investigate possible fraud. As the AG says, the former Prime Minister Patrick Manning and former Minister Swart Singh have to come clean with the nation. I wish to call upon Minister Kennedy Swart Singh and former Prime Minister Patrick Manning, who was head of the cabinet that, sh that rushed this transaction on the eve of the general elections to explain to the population how it is such a transaction could have been imposed on the people of this country and one, a $1 billion exposure with a bank breathing down our neck at present could have occurred under their watch. To say it is scandalous, ladies and gentlemen, is an understatement. For CNC3, I'm Satish Mahabir.